Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. This is Tyron speaking, and today I'm gonna finish up my Norwegian luxury cabin where I'm gonna furnish the second and the third floor. There is a link below that will take you to part one of this build if you haven't got a chance to see it yet. This build is already uploaded to the Sims 4 gallery, and the link is as always posted in the description below. You can also search my origin ID, which is Tyron Sims, and check out my other build as well. If you like my video and builds, please follow and subscribe on Twitter, YouTube and Twitch and spread the word. And if you don't have time to watch the entire speed build, well no problem, I have a nice video tour in the end for you to enjoy. If you did watch the first part of this build, you may remember I was talking about the Norwegian cabinets with the old paintwork. I wanted to continue with this in my kitchen as well and I actually wanted to use the green colored ones. But I didn't feel the green color fitted in here, so I changed it to black instead. And the corner cabinets that I put all the way to the floor, that was an inspiration that I got from Sims in Action. I saw he used this in one of his speed builds, and he has a lot of great builds for you to check out, and I have posted a link to his channel in the description below. Since there are a lot of bed spaces, I actually think there is about 26 that works plus to toddler's bed. So I needed a huge kitchen where they could all eat together. So there are 14 chairs around the big table and a few at the counter and also I have this small table for four. I don't know how many sims you can take with you to a place like this but I think there will be plenty of room for them all. But just in case I added a similar huge dining table on the front porch. And like in my modern builds, I usually have less randomly placed clutters, but this is a typically a house or build that I could clutter forever, and it doesn't really matter because it's meant to be a bit untidy, like very homelike and a little old rusty country vibe here. And besides, I love to clutter, so this type of build are just perfect for me. And of course, if you don't like it, it's a simple matter for you to delete them all. I really fell in love with this world. I may continue to build different cabinets and camps so you can fill all the lots. I don't know if that's something you guys would want. I build things mainly because I think it's fun, but I also want to build things for you to enjoy. And of course there are different opinions like always, so I try to have some variety in my builds. So if you have any ideas for my next build, please let me know. I use these dining chairs a lot in this build. I liked how the details looks very traditional Norwegian cabin like as they were meant to be here. I think they actually are from this outdoor retreat pack so I guess it makes sense. But I also used them around elsewhere in my build. This room turned out to be so good. It's a really simple room but it's really cozy where you can all sit and chat together or read a book or play cards or something. You can pretty much use this room for anything. I know that the couches doesn't fit together as it should be, but they are functional and if I could I will also add uh, pillows and maybe a couple of cozy blankets. That would make this room absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh, rooms like these are a nightmare. They are too big for me, but I didn't want to break it up into smaller rooms either because of the gallery or the loft above, but it turned out to be quite okay, I guess. I love this part of the common room in front of the fireplace and the big windows. You can just sit and relax and enjoy an amazing view. As you may see, I do spend a lot of time in the details in this cabin and I think that is very important here because I want to maintain the feeling that this is a cabin and not a home without using only the cabin furniture, which I think is more suitable for a less expensive place. A bar is a must. Fresh air and drinks are a nice fit together. I was not pleased with my option of bars that I have because no one really appealed to my cabin so I used this black one. If I had a smaller version that would be so much better because I feel the bar overwhelms the common room a little and I also wish that the flag on the juice bar behind would just disappear. I use some time lapse in this room because I went back and forward changing it all the time and it was so bad that I wasn't able to make a decent video clip out of it. 
So I have edited most of it out and just jumped right to the bathroom next door. There are two bathrooms in this floor and there will be one upstairs and I will continue with the same theme as in all the others. You may have noticed that I'm less exciting than usual. I am getting sick and my voice is just fading away. So it's not because I don't want to be a cheerful person. It's just because I'm not quite feeling well. And I also have a question and maybe one day someone will answer. In my videos, I usually talk about my build. Sometimes I tell a small story of things that I've done or experienced and sometimes I just fill the video up with a bunch of music tracks. What do you guys want me to do in my future videos and let me know because I will take all your opinions into consideration and try to please you all. I have also made two bedrooms here. This room is a bit luxurious with a nice fireplace lot of spaces, double bed and a seating area and I also have this computer so you can have some fun here as well. The next bedroom is a bit smaller and more crowded. You can only have two people sleeping here at once despite that there are four beds but you won't have access to the upper ones. It's a shame really that we don't have this kind of bed since a lot of families have beds like this, especially if you have kids. So this is an entrance area where you can walk out on the front porch. Therefore I have these coats and jackets here so you not always need to go down to get your shoes and jackets if you want some fresh air or eat outside. But this is one of the bigger rooms, so I wanted this to be a place where you can enjoy company with other sims as well. And I have placed some few activities and a couch for you sims to enjoy together. The shelves that I put under the windows, they are supposed to be like those windows frame you can put stuff on like I do. There's probably a correct word for that. And this room is a room with pretty much nothing in it. It's a hall that I only play some few furnitures and I also have some pet stuff here if you want to take your cats and dogs with you on this vacation. This room was originally meant to be the entrance where you could walk out to the second front porch but I changed it so there's now only one big one and two very small ones like a balcony because I really didn't want to decorate a second one. So the loft I am decorating now is a really cool place where you can sleep. As kids we always slept here. It's a very low roof and you need these ladders to get up. So it was kind of this secret place where kids could be. There are no doors to rooms like this. This is just a small fence for the room downstairs like I have made here. So I am really happy about how this turned out to be. I remember from when I was little and when we were in this cabin with my parents and brother and two of my uncles and aunts family and my grandparents. All of us had dogs and we brought them all and this was in the middle of the winter and one of my uncles who owned the cabin left many hours before the rest of us so he could lit some fire to warm the place up. But when we arrived, he wasn't even ready shuffling the snow away because there was like two or three meters of snow in front of the entrance. So when we finally came into the cabin, it was so freezing cold. It was colder inside than outside, so we opened all the doors and windows so it could be a little warmer. And I also remember this meal that we had for supper. And I was sitting in this huge chair with a plate in my lap and suddenly one of my uncle's dog jumped up and grabbed the food and ran away. So yes, it is a lot of fun visiting cabins like this and do bring your cats and dogs. There are three bedrooms in the upper floor and the bedrooms I am furnishing now is like family bedrooms. There are a lot of bed spaces here for your sims to sleep in, so if you want the family to be gathered at one place, I guess these are the perfect rooms. One of the bedrooms will also have two toddler beds, since I guess some of you will have a small children or two, 
and I also had two children's stairs in the kitchen as well. The idea is that these three bedrooms will share a bathroom together, but they can also go downstairs to the bathroom in the hall, but I assume that would be more natural for the two bedrooms downstairs to use. We are soon ready for the video tour and I just want to thank all the new subscribers and followers and thank you all so much for watching. Remember if you like my video and builds and want more in the future give me a thumbs up and follow and subscribe on YouTube, Twitter and Twitch. My ID is I seen so search me up. You can also leave a comment below and let me know what you liked and what you didn't like so I can improve my future builds and video. Take care guys. Bye bye.